Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Demiurge server on Minecraft 1.18. So much has happened, and I am excited to bring you all up to date. First, I finally have a new Blue Yeti microphone. So the quality of my voice recording should be better without all the editing I had to do in the past. Also... I may be picking up background noises that I never knew existed. So let me know what you think. Second, I have ventured into the nether for the first time in this series, and it's gone about as well as can be expected. That is why I'm standing here instead of at my base. Let me go ahead and show you how it started. And here we are going into the nether, and I think some of you will figure out exactly what went wrong. This is the nether hub, so to speak. It's a, just starting out, but let's go out and look around. Yeah. That did not go well. I did not expect them to attack me. Needless to say, I eventually figured out that I needed a gold helmet. Then I went wandering and got lost and found this portal. Popped out here and found this building which was created by Lord Knight. It's kind of cool. And here is a double spawner. It has skeletons and spiders. For someone who hasn't had the ability to gain experience points very easily, finding this was absolutely amazing. Here you can kill skeletons. And if you go back down here, you can kill spiders at this point, entry. Up here we just find more storage for items that I don't currently have any use for. While I'm gathering some of that experience, let me take a quick moment to show you how this spawner works. The glass makes it so that the mobs can't see out and it's completely dark. And the spawner, since it has no place to spawn because of the half slab, it spawns them and spits them out. It's pretty cool to watch. Like I said earlier, I got lost in the nether and stumbled across the nether portal that brought me to this location. So I contacted Lord Knight, asked for directions to how to get back to spawn, and he sent them to me. So that's what we need to do now. We're in the nether, gold helmet is working and I just have to follow this path path is not well marked at this place but it is a straight line and I will make my way up to the signs And the signs just point out which direction is which. So going back this way is spawn. And I will know I got there once I get to the little building. I think I'm going to remark this road so it's a little more clearly. And here we are. And now it is time to head back to the base, which 
The other members of the server are calling the giant hopper. Because that is what it looks like. I'm going to build some more around the outside. Adding a staircase that goes up. And we'll see that. What? The <laughs> yeah. We'll see what that looks like when I'm done. To make this into a functioning base, I need more room. And so I'm going to go ahead and build this staircase upward. And then I'm gonna work on flattening some space inside here. If I take out that row, I can add one more row back. And now we have three wide space to actually work with. Then I'll go down and finish this outside wall and we'll have our, our very first staircase going somewhere. And after that construction project, I would like to show you what's next. I want to turn this building into a mob farm. Hostile mob farm. So I've gone through, built this area, started the lowest platform, and I'm going to build this up multiple platforms and it's going to drop the mobs down into the square into the middle of my base where they can die from fall damage and the stuff will be put in to chest now I'm gonna make I'm not sure how many I lost count but this is me building out the levels and now I'm working on the roof. Working the blocks there for spacing and for so that I don't lose count. The sand blocks are just temporary. I have some different colored stone. I think that's diorite. And it's going to allow me to, again, keep track of distances and blocks. It makes it much easier to count. Also, I kind of like the way the pattern looks. So this is pretty simple. So I will finish this up and let you know, show you what it looks like. Starting from where the pit is that the mobs will die in, we can fly up and we'll eventually get to the mob farm. And the mob farm does work. Let me get you a better view. Here's all the levels. I count eight. And here's the finished roof and the pattern that I came up with. This is the clock that turns on and off the water. It turns on the water in alternating uh, levels. So one, one moment it'll turn on the even levels, another moment it will turn on the odd levels. Now here's a better look at it actually working. We see all the mobs get pushed off and they all go flying down this hole, which should then drop. But they're not arriving. Why are they not arriving? That I'm confused. That's completely doesn't make sense. We'll just zoom up to the top and investigate further. They are despawning. That's probably has to do with how far away I went up to build my spawning po part point. Not spawning point, but AFK. And 
I am 230, 227 blocks up. That means it's going, it's going to exceed 128 at least before I get there. Now I fixed it and it we are 174 blocks and I did some testing and that did actually fix the problem. Now the mobs fall all the way down and die where they are supposed to. If anyone knows the ideal distance that you have to be from the mobs to spawn and the distance to the killing chamber uh, please let me know in the comments and maybe I can improve this further I'm sitting up here looking and have you ever wondered what it looks like from the point of view of this mob I can sit here and watch this for hours because you're soaring from place to place usually in tight circles above my character which is right below they're not flying down and diving bombing it because I'm surrounded in glass and sometimes the circles get a little tight like watching an aquarium I just find it peaceful seems that I'm awfully close to collision but that's what it looks like ooh I like this song as a phantom, I will die. I will die from sunlight, and that will be the end. Meanwhile, I'd like to thank you for watching. Now, if you are still with us and watching this video, I would like you to go into the comments and let me know how long you have been watching my channel. There is no wrong answer, but I would appreciate it. I am going to call this episode complete. Please like and subscribe and click on the bell so you know when I do future updates. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Please put Phantom in the comments.